Almost every transistor that we are buying today and manufactured today contain this technology called stress memorization technique or strain silicon. So it's essential and a very important concept that VLSI engineers should understand. We will split this concept into two videos. Firstly, we are going to discuss about the understanding of mobility in this part one. And in the part two, we will see the mobility enhancement. Mobility of an electron is a parameter that characterizes how quickly an electron can move when pulled by an electric field. And that's the reason why mobility equals the velocity divided by the electric field, which means it's the velocity of the electron or hole or any charge carrier per electric field. We all know that the mobility of electron is significantly higher than that of the mobility of the holes in semiconductors. And also the short channel effect mobility degradation impacts the mobility of holes and electrons. As the transistors are scaled down, what happens is the velocity saturation happens pretty quickly because the electric field increases. So this makes the mobility go down, which means mobility degradation happens. Except this short channel effect, we have two more limiting factors which are actually scattering mechanisms. The first one is actually the lattice scattering or phonon scattering. The crystal lattice vibration causes a disruption in the perfect periodic potential function. What happens is, if we see this figure, we will understand that the atoms which are sitting in the crystal lattice, they won't be still, maybe below zero degree Kelvin. They're actually still. But if we are at the room temperature, then as the temperature increases, the vibration happens. So the, the phonon is nothing but a quasi-particle or a quantized energy of the vibration of the crystal lattice. So as the temperature increases, the vibration increases. So the mobility decreases. The mobility is proportional to the temperature per minus three by two. The second one is the ionized impurity scattering. This is because of the dopant atom. Since the dopant atom gets ionized in the crystal lattice, what happens is there could be an electron electron or an electron hole scattering that happens. As you can see in this figure, if an electron is passing nearby a positive ion, then the positive ion attracts that electron, which disrupts its velocity. The mobility of ionized impurity scattering is proportional to the temperature. It, it is directly proportional to the temperature. As the temperature increases, the mobility also increases of the ionized impurity scattering. But as the doping increases, the mobility decreases. So with the Matheson's law, we have this the total mobility equation, which is 1 by mu t is equal to 1 by mu phonon plus 1 by mu impurity. This is a simple equation uh, considering the resistance, the resistivity equal to resistivity of the phonon plus resistivity of the uh, impurity. If you consider this plot of mobility versus temperature, we can see that mobility is highest at a temperature where mobility is balanced between the impurity scattering and the phonon scattering. It's very important for us to know where is the room temperature because as we increase the temperature, if, if the room temperature is somewhere over here, as we increase the temperature, mobility increases. As we decrease the temperature, mobility decreases. If, but if we are somewhere over here, the, if the room temperature somewhere is over here, then if we increase the temperature, the mobility decreases. But if we decrease the temperature, mobility increases. But the real uh, case is the room temperature is somewhere over here which is dominated by the phonon scattering or lattice scattering. As we increase the temperature, mobility decreases. That's where we are. So uh, it's very rare that impurity scattering is taken into consideration. It's mostly the phonon scattering, which is more important. I would like to reintroduce this term called mean free path because we are going to use this in the second video. Mean free path is the term which means the average distance traveled by an electron or a hole between the successive collisions. Mean free path in collisions is very important. If we can increase the mean free path, that means we are increasing the mobility. So from this video, we have the summary that mobility is not only a function of temperature, it is also a function of crystal stress. We will see how to enhance the mobility in the second video. I highly encourage you to watch the second video. Till then, thanks a lot for watching and please do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.